Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Daisy Dreamers in America. In today's vlog, I'm going to take you along with me as I explore the Griffith Observatory in Beverly Hills in um, LA. Unfortunately, my trip to Legoland got canceled due to bad traffic from LA to Legoland. So I thought I would make most of my time here and explore the beautiful city of LA. Good morning, दोस्तों और आज दिन की शुरुआत हो रही है हॉलीवुड साइन और ग्राफिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी लॉस एंजलिस कैलिफोर्निया फर्स्ट ऑफ वी हैव द ग्रिफिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी दिस आइकॉनिक लैंडमार्क इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द सदर्न स्लोप ऑफ माउंट हॉलीवुड एंड ऑफर्स ब्रेथ टेकिंग व्यूज ऑफ द सिटी दी ऑब्जर्वेटरी हैज अ वराइटी ऑफ एग्जिबिट्स that showcase the wonders of universe from the solar system to the distant galaxies the griffith observatory has something for everyone the griffith observatory is one of the la's most iconic landmarks it is located in the hills above los angeles and it is a great place to explore science astronomy and space and from the observatory you can see a breathtaking view of the city of Los Angeles including the famous Hollywood sign which you can see here Mount Hollywood where the observatory is located is a popular hiking spot in Los Angeles you can take a hike up to the observatory or you can drive up to the top and park in the parking lot If you choose uh, to drive, keep in mind that there is a parking fee of ten uh, dollars per car. The best time to visit Griffith um, Observatory is during the day. That way, you can enjoy the stunning view of the city and the Hollywood sign. But the observatory is also open in the evening. It is a great place to stargaze. They have. telescopes set up for visitors to use and you can even attend a planetarium show now let me share with you a surprising fact about the griffith observatory and mount hollywood did you know that the observatory was originally built to be a planetarium surprising right the building was designed in 1930s and it was intended to be a planetarium from the beginning however during the world war 2 the building was used as a barracks for soldiers it wasn't until 1950s that it was converted into the planetarium that was that we know and love today isn't that surprising When you are at the observatory, don't miss the exhibit exhibits inside. There are a lot of interesting things to see, including displays about the space exploration, the solar system, the history of the observatory itself, and of course, the planetarium shows is a must see. Finally, I want to mention that the Griffith Observatory is a popular destination so it can get crowded. So if you want to avoid the crowds, try to go during the week or in the early morning. That way you can enjoy the view without feeling too crowded. And I would say during the day or early morning would be my preference and i think i did the same thing with my family um and um i am just enjoying the view here um hope um i hope that you enjoyed learning about the griffith observatory and the stunning views of you know los angeles uh, that you can see from mount hollywood if you are in la this is a this is definitely a destination that you don't want to miss Thank you very much. And let's look at some other attractions. And now everyone, we're going to take a tour 
of one of the most iconic neighborhood in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills. Um, Beverly Hills is an upscale neighborhood located in the western part of the LA County. It is uh, known for its luxurious mansions, high-end shopping, and celebrity sightings. One of the most uh, famous streets in Beverly Hills is Rodeo Drive. It is um, home to some of the most exclusive designer boutiques in the world, including Gucci, Prada, Chanel. It is a great place to go window shopping or to splurge on some designer items if you're feeling fancy. Another must-see spot in Beverly Hills is the Beverly Hills Hotel. Uh, this historic hotel is known for its pink interior. It's a famous polo lounge. The polo lounge has been um, a popular spot for celebrities for decades. Um, it is a great place to grab a drink or a bite to eat while taking in the classic Hollywood atmosphere. Now, let's talk about some interesting fact about, facts about um, Beverly Hills. Did you know that that neighborhood was actually originally planned as a lima bean farm? That's right. In the early 1900s, a a group of investors bought the land with the intention of turning into farming community. Another interesting fact is that Beverly Hills is home to the largest concentration of Fortune 500 companies in Southern California. This makes it a hub for business and commerce, in addition to being a popular tourist destination. And finally, Beverly Hills is also known for its beautiful parks and gardens. The Beverly Gardens Park is a popular spot for locals and tourists alike. With its fountain, rose garden, sculptures, it is a great place to take a stroll or have a picnic on a sunny day. And that's all, a tour of Beverly Hills. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about this iconic neighborhood. And as I can put a key as a level and keep trip on a pie or with the with NASA zone. You will say, um, sorry, trip cancel of his or do thing. Jaga is a pie. Uh, um, I'll get in coffee has a puzzle for a raw or just then departure of thousand coffee man of Mashaka to the to go be who we are. We home Delta flight my battle. सियाटल की तरफ और करीब दो घंटे के अंदर हम सियाटल पहुंचेंगे। And that's a wrap for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed exploring the Griffith Observatory and Beverly Hills with me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.